market profile is a graphical representation of price and time data in the market, and it helps us understand where most of the trading has occurred, indicating areas of high and low interest to buyers and sellers. Market profile provides valuable insight for intraday traders and help us identify levels and zones more effectively. When we talk about key levels, it represents one price level, which a reverse in its direction will happen and act as support and resistance level. These levels are static reference points, which may include prior day high, prior day low, prominent POC that is more than nine ticks wide, and halfback or any fixed points. Key zones, on the other hand, represent supply and demand zone, where it influences price movements in the market and will have multiple price levels that can indicate areas of increased supply and demand. For these key zones, I like to see overlapping high volume node, unusual large deltas, very prominent POC, which is over 12 ticks wide, or overlapping POC through multiple days. Here is an example of key zone that happened 10 minutes before Friday's settle. These are unusual large delta at 5042 zone. Keep in mind, this happened within a few price levels, therefore will be a zone and not a level. This narrative will be carried forward to be used as my new supply and demand zone. If the price cannot move higher, it would indicate that the demand is no longer present and supply will need to lower the price to attract more demand. Instead of putting a buy order at this zone, I will watch how the demand is as the supply comes into the market at this price zone. So let's go over this week's key levels and zones on the ES. Here is my key zone at 5042 and 5041 where that large supply came in. I will mark that as my key zone to be played for tomorrow. Here is a key level at 5039, which is the spike low that happened at end of the day on Friday and we just couldn't take it below. So I will keep that level to be played for Monday. I'm also marking 5034 as my single prints, as my key zones to carry forward for Monday as it divided Friday into two distributions. I'm also watching the breakout level at 5020, which was a double high on Wednesday and Thursday to carry forward for Monday. If the price goes below the breakout level with some volume coming in, there is a high probability that we will revisit the 5,000 level. If the price doesn't go below 5020 and wants to revisit the new all-time highs, here is a way I find my, my key levels when there are no previous data. To find a new key level at all-time high without previous data, here I anchor my Fibonacci level at prior week low and extending it to prior week high, making that prior week high as my 61.8 level. And there you have it at 57.8. That will be my expected FIB levels for next week if we do revisit the all-time high. Remember, futures trade in sequence. It goes from one key level or key zones to another key level or key zones. So watch how the price comes to that barrier and see if it accelerates or decelerates. You'll see if it will be a rejection or acceptance. I hope you have a great trading this week and I hope to see you in the room soon. Hey guys, this is Jenny from Shadow Trader Squawk Box. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this content, make sure to press the like and the subscribe button below. And if you like to trade live with me every day, click on the link below in the description box. I wish you good trading and we'll see you in the room soon.